we'll drink to that. The Clooney's see their fortune grow to £270 million as George is paid £31 million to appear in the Espresso Coffee adverts and Amal earns £2 million as a human rights barrister. George and Amal Clooney saw their wealth grow by £10 million last year after the Hollywood star was named as the world's highest paid actor. The glamorous couple, who are friends with Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, have a joint marital fortune of £270 million, according to the Sunday Times Rich List. Mr Clooney, 58, has been paid £40 million, £31 million, to appear in the Espresso Coffee adverts around the world and made £173 million from the sale of a tequila company he co-founded, Casamigos, in 2017. Mrs Clooney, 41, has made an estimated pound two million from her incredibly successful career as a human rights barrister. Mrs. Clooney gave birth to twins Ella and Alexander in 2017, and the couple have a Thameside home in Berkshire. They were among a host of celebrities to appear in this year's Rich List, led by composer Andrew Lloyd Webber, whose fortune totals pound eight twenty million and former Beatles Sir Paul McCartney at pound 750 million. Members of rock band Queen saw their fortunes rise after the Oscar-winning biopic Bohemian Rhapsody took almost pound 700 million at the box office worldwide. And Sir Elton John, 72, whose own biopic Rocket Man is due to premiere at Cannes tomorrow, also saw his wealth increase by pound 20 million to pound 320 million. David and Victoria Beckham's joint fortune rose by pound 15 million to pound 355 million. Her fashion label has continued to make a loss but has been valued at pound 100 million. Topshop tycoon Green no longer a billionaire. Topshop tycoon Sir Philip Green has lost more than pound 1 billion in the last year and is no longer a billionaire, it was claimed yesterday. The high street mogul and his wife Tina were worth an estimated pound two billion in 2018, but lost pound one point oh five billion in just 12 months, according to the Sunday Times Rich List. It estimated his wealth at pound nine fifty million, the first time since 2001 that he has not been among Britain's millionaires. The couple's Arcadia retail empire, which includes Topshop, Dorothy Perkins, and Burton was described as worthless in the report after a series of financial setbacks. Sir Philip, 67, sold BHS for £1 in 2015, a year before it collapsed, leaving its 11,000 employees without work and 19,000 former workers facing a £571 million pension deficit. Sir Philip will pay £363 million towards the deficit but Arcadia, which employs about 19,000 people is also facing a pension black hole and expected store closures. He has also been accused of sexual harassment and bullying, which he denies. There were calls for him to be stripped of his knighthood after it was revealed he had used non-disclosure agreements to gag former employees. Arcadia did not respond to a request for comment. Dyson cleans up with an extra pound 3.1b. Inventor Sir James Dyson saw his personal fortune grow by pound 3.1 billion in the last year to pound 12.6 billion. The Brexit supporter was ranked as the fifth richest person in Britain, but he has announced his corporate headquarters will relocate from Wiltshire to Singapore. The 72-year-old argued for a no-deal split from Europe but said his company needed to be closer to its fastest-growing markets in the Far East. Dyson is expected to open a car plant there to make a new electric car as part of a pound one billion investment. But the company stressed it will still be investing money in its British basis. A spokesman announced in January that the company would be spending pounds 200 million in new buildings and testing facilities in Hullavington, Wiltshire and pound 44 million in refreshing office space and adding new laboratories in Malmesbury. It will also be investing pound 31 million for the young undergraduates at its university on the same site. Sir James's business empire was valued at pound 11 billion in the Sunday Times rich list but he also owns 25,000 acres, which makes him a bigger landowner in England than the Queen.